All right, we're going to finish up by playing a little hot seat. Uh, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, and I'd like you to answer as quick as you can within, I don't know, about five seconds. All right, you ready? Yeah. Who's your favorite assistant coach of Florida? Right now or when I played? When you played. Vance Bedford. Vance Bedford, cornerbacks, defensive backs coach. What was your favorite part of practices at Florida? Uh, red zone going against that, that crazy offense with, with our secondary. Why is that? It was just straight competition. Straight competition. What are you most proud about your time at Florida? Just being there, being a part of the division. What was the most memorable play of your career at Florida? I think I know what you're going to say, but I want to hear what you have to say. Uh, I mean, I got two. I got the pick six, um, all back ball, and enough time to game. Yeah, I was going to guess the first one. But, okay, fair enough. Uh, what is your favorite uniform color combination right now? The Gators have their orange or blue tops or orange, blue pants, whatever. What's your favorite color combo that they wear? Orange jerseys and white pants. You do. How about on the road? Uh, all white. All right. What do you think of the white helmets? I like our white helmets better. The one you wore. <laughs> the one you wore on mine. Yeah. All he did was take out the the F on one side and put in the Gator script, and they they changed the stripe a little bit down the middle. You don't like that? I, 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 it's, it's okay, but you know I, I like the, my favorite all time jersey is the uh, the Georgia ones that year. Remember? Oh yeah, the Cross Combats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Gator skin on the on the sleeve and on, up the pants. Those were dope. I love those. Uh, what about the FSU jerseys in two thousand nine? We've talked a little bit about the Florida Miami rivalry and how you think it should be played every year. But aside from the Miami Hurricanes, if you could pick one team outside the SEC and Florida State and Miami that Florida should play every year, what team would it be? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, give me some names. I'm thinking Texas. Uh, yeah, that'd be like Florida Texas. Yeah, sure. I don't know about that. Sure. Maybe Clemson because they're recruiting. Nah. You don't think? Nah. How about Michigan? Texas. No, Texas for sure. Oh, Ohio State. Ohio State. Okay, I knew that was going to come up. How about USC? Not too far. All right, fair enough. Uh, during your time at Florida, in all four of your years, who was the most difficult offensive player? Including quarterback to stop. <coughs> Percy. Percy. Who's He's second? Percy or Chris Rainey. Who is and so second would be Chris Rainey. Yeah. How sure. about one more? Who's the third? <coughs> who's the third hardest to stop? Uh. Uh, Moody. Remember Moody? Emmanuel Moody. Sure. Who was the most difficult opposing player that you had to stop? Uh, shit, nobody really, nobody really, uh, I mean, it, it, gotta, it gotta be the Bama running back. Which one? Ingram? Richardson? That's my favorite running back. <laughs> I don't think, I, I think they, them as a whole and as a group. Okay. You know what I'm okay, okay, I hear you. I was going to guess A.J. Green. No? Uh, you know, I think did a pretty good number for himself. Oh, he did. But That's true. He did. And what, what they kept doing is they kept putting him in all the way in the, in the, in the third wide receiver, kind of like by the line. So a linebacker can have to guard him because he couldn't catch the ball on, on Janoris. Favorite, favorite <laughs> defensive scheme you ran in Florida? Oh, it's on the uh, We did a lot. We had the Joker package and all that, so I mean, just just trying to be strong in general. Um, yeah, the four three, yeah, just the base four three, base four three. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so. Florida's got three traditional rivals in Georgia, Tennessee, and FSU. Uh, rank the teams in the order of how much you hate them. As as the most hated. 
The most hated. I go, I go least hated. The least hated probably be Tennessee. Because you beat him all the time? I just aggravate him. That's stupid. Uh, Rocky Top Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I don't really know Ole Miss that much. So I'm playing against him one year, but I know they weren't supposed to be there. There's no reason to hate them. It just, they just had angels in the outfield, I think. <laughs> So just between uh, Georgia and FSU, who do you hate more? Oh my God, Florida State. You do. And is Georgia a close second or no? No. Alabama is a, a, a close second. That makes sense. Although Georgia did do that little dance off in the end zone. That, 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 that doesn't change your mind? Uh, no. They won like five games out of like 25. No. Be exact, it's 6 out of 26. Sister. But yeah, point taken. Um, all right, so, yeah, all right, uh, in your opinion, how many teams should be in the college football playoff? I think it should be one more, uh, uh, one more uh, round, so, so at least 16. Do you think that Florida, in 2012, given the opportunity, would have won a national championship? 2012? That's the yeah. year we lost to Georgia? Yeah. Oh, my God, don't let me get started on that game. We threw an interception at a two-yard line. We had six turnovers. Oh, yeah, and then Jordan Reed fumbled at the end. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> we, we, we should have went to that championship. Yeah. You should have. Do you, do you think you would have given the opportunity? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think, I think uh, last year, if, if Greer don't leave, if we, if we keep Greer, we don't want last year. Does Jim McElwain lead Florida to a national title? Either this year or before he retires in general. I think I think he will. I think he will. I like, I like his drive and the, and the way he attacks. I think he will. All right, Ahmad. Last question. Uh, what is the legacy of Ahmad Black at Florida in your mind? Oh man, I don't like answering these seven questions. You don't? I just I just I'm just thankful for. <coughs> I'm just thankful for. It. Being part of it, you know, and, and having all the fans accept me um, for being a part of Gator Nation. I don't want to say I'm one of the best I ever play at Florida. Um, I'm just happy I did. <coughs> well, you for everything. You're thankful. No, that's that's really all I could ask for for you to say, man. Uh, I mean, you were part of one of the best secondaries to ever play college football. I mean, that's something that's going to be up for debate forever. You can't ever really prove it. But you're certainly in the conversation. So now, this is the last question. I'm sorry. Do you think that the University of Florida is DBU? I don't even think that. I know that. You know that. DBU. LSU? Know. LSU? No. They have one good DB core that oh, I can yeah. really think about, that I can name. There you go. I seem to remember that Tim Tebow kind of lit them up. Even, even the year we lost, he kind of just lit them up. Ahmad, it has been an honor to talk to you. Uh, I'm not going to lie, you were one of my favorite players growing up. I mean, look, you have a place in Gator football history that many people would just dream of having. So thank you so much for coming on to reminisce about your playing days. And I'm definitely going to be keeping tabs on you as you go forward. Best of luck to you in all that you do, and I hope that there's something for you in football coming forward. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. No problem, man. <laughs>